Hello, World Soccer 007, and I know Windows 8 has not been out that long, but I thought I'd bring out this tutorial on customizing Windows 8. Obviously, like I said, it's only been out for two weeks, so customization options are low right now, but I thought I'd bring out this tutorial anyway and show you what you can do right now to Windows 8 to make it more of a cooler looking, I guess you could say. If you're watching this video a couple years later, maybe 2013, 2014, Feel free to uh, look in the description. I might have updated this video and go ahead and watch that one. But anyway, for this video, um, two things I'm going to be addressing in the video. I was showing you guys a skin pack for Windows 8. Here's a preview of it. So you're going to get custom uh, buttons everywhere. You're going to get custom icons, all that stuff. Another thing I was showing you guys is Pokey, which is a cool Windows 8 start menu, but it has some twist to it. So there's a picture of it. So I will go through both of those and what our desktop looks like afterwards. So we'll go ahead and um, down the X style, sure eight style skin pack. So go ahead and double check that you have the uh, right one here to do this. Just go to your um, start menu here and go to properties. Get settings here. Ah, wrong way. My fault. Go to uh, here. Go to computer. System properties. There you go. All right. So here, it's going to tell you a 64-bit uh, or 32-bit. Whatever it tells you, you're going to use that. So mine says uh, X64. So I will use the X64. All right. So it's a pretty small download. Should only take a couple seconds. All right, and looks like we are gonna open up now. So if you get this, just go ahead and hit run anyway. While this is doing this stuff, what we're gonna do is. So go here and just make sure everything is out of here. Next. So we have uh, things like Immersive Explorer, all that stuff like that. All right, so go ahead and hit install. All right, so while it's doing its thing, we'll go ahead and download uh, Pokey. We'll see how it does. All right, so Pokey is uh. All set up, and you guys can see my taskbar has been has been uh, gone away, and now it's going to ask me to re reboot. So I'm going to reboot my system, and uh, once I'm done, I will continue the video. All right. So after reboot and going to the desktop, we're going to get um, a much different look already. We're going to have this skin pack menu thing pop up. So the best thing to do, you can just go ahead and uh, close that, and you're going to see we have a new cursor. And by going over to our Explorer here, we're going to see that we do have a new um, look to our Explorer. We have custom icons along the sides and our things. Um, we're going to get the custom icons in the corner. The cursors, wallpapers have changed. And we're also going to get icons through here. Going through Control Panel, we're also going to see a difference in all things like that. And most of the, uh, seems like the fonts have also changed. Going to system, we have the new icon over here. Like I said, most of the icons have changed. Now, back buttons also have changed along with buttons here. Seems like we only have one new background. And another thing it has added is a program called Immersive Explorer. Immersive Explorer is basically a alternative to your libraries or your explorer this is basically allow you to go through everything in a more metro version I guess you could say you can minimize it reopen it and you're allowed to open it in a seems what non full screen mode and pull it around I'm not the biggest fan of it um, I don't know you, if you do like it then you can definitely use it 
and then that's just a little preview of that. So going with the the whole new look here, like I said before, and I started the second part here, um, Pokey. So I downloaded I downloaded Pokey before the video ended. So we'll go ahead and open Pokey up. All right, so Pokey Online go down itself, and you can go ahead and click Use Pokey as my Start Menu if you prefer to use it, and then click Install. So as you can see, it kind of tells you how to use it. It's going to put a start order basically, um, basically where Windows 7 puts it, and then from there you'll be able to open it, and it basically brings a whole new look to the Windows 8. It allows for its own personal apps like um, Twitter and Facebook, and it also allows you to have live feeds just like the Windows 8 menu, but in a different version. So it has finished, and we're going to get our little button here. Clicking on it, we're going to get our uh, new start menu. Right here we have the classic shutdown, all that stuff. Clicking the apps here, we're going to get back to our normal one here. So there is an option here. We have our, uh, looks like the seem to Windows 7, so by clicking that, it's going to bring you to your default explorer of your files. By clicking the um, Windows, Windows button on my keyboard, it's also going to come up. And from here, we can also search throughout the computer. So if I have a file called civics, it's going to pull that up. And I can click on it, and it's going to pull it up for me. So it is a very cool um, start menu. It's a great replacement if you're a hate fan of the Metro UI. So um, I know a lot of my friends weren't the biggest fan of the Metro UI. I told them, look, upgrade, get new features, replace it with this thing. And basically, you're going to get a great version of Windows 7. Also, with the with the Pokey, you can go to the App Store, which is built in, and from there you can download things like I said before. So you have things like uh, Instagram for your computer. You have a look at like games. Basically, the Windows 8 App Store, but the uh, Pokey edition. So I will go ahead and install a popular one. Um, Wait, 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 okay, I'll do YouTube. So I'll go ahead and click YouTube. YouTube was installed. I you guys can see that was pretty fast. YouTube automatically gets put over here. You guys can see right next to uh, my thing there. I click on the YouTube. I already have it, so I'm not sure what to ask me that. All right, I must I must install it. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll play along with it. All right, so we'll go ahead and install it. It looks like it's not going to allow you uh, to open it until you install it. All right, done. So now we can try to open this up. All right, so we're going to get our YouTube app here. So it looks like we're getting basically the YouTube in a small browser. So this is basically a shortcut to your uh, thing here, and you guys can see it gets added right there. If we go to all apps, we have our all of our programs essentially just like a Windows 7 start menu. We have our control panel options also, so just the general areas. You can also favorite them, so let's see if you go to your favorites, you're going to have the action center there. Notifications is just going to show some new things. If you add your Facebook there, it's going to pop up. Last well, that's everybody guys for this video. Um, I hope you guys really liked the video. So basically, I'll review what we did here. We installed a new start menu. Um, a lot of people are like this one better. And we also went through and customized our Explorer with our new icons and basically did a whole new look to the Explorer. Along, we also installed Immersive Explorer. So if you do like the uh, whole that look, we can go through and get this look. Alright guys, so that's about it for this video. Again, if you do see a description below saying, check out my new video, go to that video. This video might be old in a couple years. Anyway, have a great day, guys. All the links will be available in the description below. And have some happy Windows 8 hacking. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.